Welcome to the Power of the Platform. I'm Darren Duffy. I lead Wealth Management Business Solutions for Thomson Reuters. And today, we're going to be talking about artificial intelligence in the wealth management space. Joining me is Nathan Stevenson, CEO of Forward Lane. Nathan, welcome to Three Times Square. Thanks very much, Darren. Thanks for having me. At Thomson Reuters, we operate an open architecture wealth management technology platform designed to lower total cost of ownership for our customers. So we're happy that Forward Lane is part of that platform offering artificial intelligence solutions for our wealth management customers. Can you tell us from your experience and from your research how financial services firms um, use artificial intelligence the most? The top three use cases for artificial intelligence is focusing on workforce productivity. Mm. So how can we bring together uh, optimized workflows to be more effective? Uh, another aspect to it is personalizing communications. So how do I effectively gather the information and really tune it and tailor it to you, my end client? Um, and so these are some of the, the primary use cases. Um, also being more effective at communicating information is, is really the top use cases. Do you, do you expect this to change going forward? So have we, are we at kind of the end of the evolution of, of how AI is going to be used? Or do you see kind of next generations of, of use cases? I think this is just the very beginning. Uh, you know, just when you're talking about use cases in wealth management, uh, you know, looking at the financial advisor, there's many places in which you can optimize that experience for the advisor, whether it's helping organize their book uh, so that they can more proactively reach out to clients, whether it's gathering all the data in an intelligence view of clients uh, so that you can service the clients in a better way, um, or type in questions and get immediate answers, expert level answers back. I think those are some of the, the ways in which a financial advisor can be supercharged using this technology and leveraging all the wealth of the Thomson Reuters market data and insights. So it sounds great, right? And on paper, it looks great. Yeah. Um, has there been any efforts done to quantify the benefits that a, a financial services firm uh, gets from using uh, AI versus a firm that's not using it? The, the benefits are, are tremendous. Uh, you know, what we're seeing so far is between 18 20 percent improvements in the time available per day. So just to put that into perspective, if you're working an eight-hour day, that's giving you back a whole day a week. Mm. Um, and the ability to put that back into relationship management or acquiring new customers or prospecting, uh, all of these kind of benefits together really have a huge impact on the net AUM acquired, uh, the quality of advice, the retention of clients, uh, there's many uh, positive impacts. Uh, would you say that we're at, at peak human? We are at peak human capacity. And, you know, peak human capacity really came from, uh, was born out of information overload. So what happens if you're responsible for looking after 200 other people's portfolios? Do you really have the time to go through them as all the things and events are happening in the world and really go into the, the detail around that? What happens if you have 500 clients or 1,000? It's just not possible. Mm -hmm. So that is actually at the limits of what we as human beings can do. So how does AI touch but also benefit uh, the investor? So does it help the investor get more time back in their week, for example? As, as a client, as an investor, I get better data. I get better uh, advice and insights that are personalized to my portfolio and to my interests. But at the same time, the communications uh, between me and my advisory firm are richer because uh, there's this two-way engagement. So that's on the client side. Now, as the kind of trickle-down benefits, because my financial advisor is using this technology to scan across all of the portfolios and help surface and uncover insights that otherwise would not be detected, uh, I can rest assured that my portfolio is being checked in a thousand different ways every single day in real time. So let's talk about how you're solving problems in the wealth management space through artificial intelligence. Sure, so Forward Lane is a cognitive application and platform. And, uh, and we deploy our platform into firm infrastructure uh, to help synthesize, analyze, and organize that, that information, combining qualitative insights with quantitative insights. 
so what this gives you is an application. And the application helps you look at your book of business, organize your day predictively, so you know, based on things that are happening in the portfolio and in the markets, and gives you insights to share with your clients in a client view. Uh, off the back of that, you can then do real-time portfolio optimization, uh, recommendations uh, with risk budgets on portfolios. So you can really bring in a lot of the, uh, the automation that you'll get out of a robo, but using your existing risk engine, using your own strategies. Uh, so there's a lot of flexibility to the platform. So Nathan, thank you for coming to Three Times Square today, and we look forward to continuing our partnership. Thanks, Darren. Thanks for having us, and thanks to Thomson Reuters. It's our pleasure. Thank you.